So this is a short demo of Workspace One Assist and some of the power, powerful capabilities you get with it. So you can see here, I'm inside my console, and I once you have licenses for Remote Assist, you have this Remote Assist button that's right in here. Pretty simple. You have a few different options. So we're going to start with Share Screen. So you see here, it's going to go through some stuff here. So you see here, it says, tell user to enter this pin, 1081. So we're RDP to the machine over here. Let's see, do we have our prompt? Yes, we do. So you're going to put 1081 in here. We're going to hit accept and share screen. So you can see here, you're at this screen. This is, you know, because this is a desktop. And you can't have two people RDP'd at once, essentially. So what we'll do is we'll log in. It'll kick us. It'll kick up, kick the other one out. We can see what we're what we're able to share. But we're going to first have to ask for control. He says waiting for user consent. So you're, you see on your desktop, you're going to click allow. And this will be in the process of kind of flipping over. I'm going to pause this for a second here. So you can see here, I am now have full access to this desktop. See, it's very responsive, better than a lot of these other things I've seen. See, it's closing something out. And just to kind of give you an idea of kind of the breakdown of this, you've got the home menu, which has all your different things. This is where you can access your logs. This is obviously your, your share screen that you have open right now. That's how you can resize. This is a virtual keyboard, as you can see. Recording, taking snapshots. There's your remote interaction, which we already did. That's your full screen button. Then these are some options here. So say you want a whiteboard and show people something. You're able to do that, which is pretty neat. Just nice from a teaching perspective, I would say. One of the best things I think is the system summary. So you've got here, it shows you all your basic device information for this device, which is great. Then you can see here it gets even better. So you click this button, it's going to show you all your apps, which is pretty neat. This is going to show you all the processes, including things you can actually kill. You click that button, it asks, asks you, are you sure you want to kill that process? So that's really, really cool. This is going to be your list of services, which, you know, you can't do as much fun stuff as you could with the other one, but it's still pretty neat. And this shows you previous sessions that you've had. Like I say, and that's a pretty cool thing that they have. So on top of that, you have other features, right? You have the manage files in the remote shell. So we'll go to manage files, click, click, click that button. We'll pause here because we're going to have to remote back into the machine again for, for the next part of this demo. Let's see if, yep, there we go. There's our prompt. Click allow. And now you're able to kind of manage the file system. It's very neat. So you can see here, it shows your whole file, your whole file structure. You could download an entire folder. You can browse into the folder. And you can download stuff that's on here already. So you get the little download button. And you can even upload stuff. So say you want somebody to be able to 
do something. So you said I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna upload this photo. Ta-da! So like I said, the file stuff is actually pretty neat. One other section we want to look at is the remote shell, which I think is extremely useful. As you see here, it's asking to allow a remote shell. We hit OK. And then instead of a remote shell, typically I'll just do like a PowerShell. So you get me into PowerShell, then I can like I can get service, or you can do like all the other different kinds of you know PowerShell commands. What else? Do that. Shows you all your packages. So it's just kind of a neat thing that you can do that's on top of just the standard remote access. And so we think that this tool is going to be really great. And it's a great combination to go with things like dropship provisioning or other things. Thanks and have a good day.